The Vietnam War defined a generation. It changed the lives of people who fought in it, those who fought against it, and the families of both. My name is Larry Young and I live in Mabel, North Dakota. I was in Vietnam from October of 1969 to 1970 and I achieved the rank of E-5, which is a sergeant. I was in the southern part of I-Corps and in the central highlands in a mountainous jungle area. And I mean, our main goal, and I, and I was 19 years old and I kind of followed the goal, guy ahead of me, but we just are just patrolling and uh, looking for the enemy is what we did. Usually in a platoon, about 20 people at a time. And you had a platoon leader, uh, two sergeants, and uh, there was different designations. Like you had a point man, you had two machine guns, you had a couple of grenade launchers and rifles, and, and, uh, and then you carried, it was two radios. Uh, it's kind of a cast system. You started carrying a machine gun and then you, and then you probably got the walk point, and then I was chosen pretty early to carry the radio for my platoon leader. You would uh, like call in locations. Uh, if, if we needed it, you called in artillery, uh, you called in for medevacs, you called in for supply. Uh, just It was your communication back to headquarters. It was a big operation. There was a, there was a couple battalions working together, and that was about eight people and there was this big clearing in this meadow and this, the, the area we in had been farmed but they'd moved the people out during the war so there was still like shelter belts and they knew we were going to be there and they, and I, I don't know the, the size, of, it was like a, it was a couple howitzer rounds that they ignited but it was, uh, it was utterly chaos. I, mean, I remember a huge large explosion and looking up and it was guys screaming and hollering they were you know with arms lost and people killed and wounded uh, we started uh, you know set up immediate uh, emergency defensive things and and calling in the medevac helicopters and it was a whole helicopter full of backpacks that people that they just threw them on there that were wounded or dead it was just a tremendous amount and and I, I can't remember the exact number, but it was a bad deal. My most admired people in Vietnam were the helicopter pilots. They were, it's unbelievable what the Huey helicopter did. And there's 58,400 people on the wall in Vietnam. And uh, if it wasn't for the Huey helicopter, that'd easily be doubled. <laughs>